Good morning guys, it is Wednesday the 7th of November and it's time to start this day off with a smile. <laughs> um, I am super driven today. Um, I ended yesterday evening uh, kind of looking through what things I need to do uh, in the upcoming month. Um, just, just mainly in my head, I'm still not planning anything. I'm hoping to get some stickers done today so it's going to be easier to plan but I think I'm going to go in and actually start writing in my calendar so that I really get that plan set down. Also uh, for some reasons I really really need to quit sugar. It is um, more apparent to me right now that I really need to do it and I got in some um, Kind of, I need to have something to hold on to when I do something big like quitting sugar. Um, a lot of the things when I'm about to make a big change, I do small, 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 small changes uh, until I come to that big change um, or have actually surpassed that big change. But there are a few things that you just have to make the change for it to work. Um, about seven years ago, I quit nicotine, smoking and alcohol. I did this because uh, my body started to behave differently. And also, like smoking was something I wanted to get rid of. Uh, I tried quit smoking, I tried quitting like three times. The first time I actually uh, stayed off it for four and a half years, which was super dumb of me to start again. But um i think it was because when you quit something that is big like nicotine alcohol sugar if you start training um you will have the first period of time you will have all of this energy to actually pull yourself logically on this journey but after a while you will come in it's different for different people but a couple of weeks a month into it uh, you will falter because your logical kind of driven force will um, kind of drop off and this is when your emotional self will take over and it's very important that your emotional self also have something that it can hold on to when you do a big change in your life. Um, for me, uh, I had uh, gradually been quitting both alcohol and nicotine and then I met up with some friends and had a quite a party night and um, drank way too much alcohol and I smoked way too many cigarettes and I ended up having both nicotine poisoning and alcohol poisoning. And it came to the degree that whenever I smell nicotine now, I get super nauseous because it has been so ingrained in my mind that I get sick from it. Um, so that was kind of the emotional kick that I needed to stop those things. And every time I ever get the stupid idea to start any of it, I can just think about it again and like, yeah, this is how sick you got last time. Do not try it again. When it comes to sugar, I don't have that. I have smaller things that kind of show me that maybe sugar isn't a thing my body want. You know, you have a little bit of an ache here, a little bit of an ache there. Uh, however, I have seen some stronger signs this time around uh, that sugar is surely something that I'm not allowed to eat. So hopefully I can keep it up this time, not only a couple of months, but actually just lifer. <laughs> but um, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm all, all um, my kind of willpower energy is back up to try to get this to work. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, I'm also super driven that I want to get a video or two out today for the craft channel. So hopefully I can get that. Actually gonna get one video out today, but I want to get a couple of them edited today. That would be awesome. Um, but we'll see. It all depends on uh, how well my migraine wants to play. It is hitting my head and I am a little bit woozy today. But 
we'll see we'll see um i work as much as i can and then i just take the rest of the day off like always like always uh, I wish I could start working again, but I find that after just an hour or two, I start drifting, like, energy-wise. Um, and usually I can't, kind of, come back until the day after. Um, and also, um, if I need to go to a company to work, uh, that going out and coming back, it's it hits me hard i don't have the energy to do th those things when i'm just home uh it's a little bit easier because being just home uh, i don't use that energy to travel or be around people and all of those things but uh as soon as i get out which i try to do now a couple of times a week because i need it for the body needs it but um energy levels do plummet pretty fast so I just want to go back to work and money so I can buy more craft supplies. But yeah, good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. My breakfast is done. I had some porridge with blueberries. Super good. Um, as I said yesterday, one porridge, throw some blueberries. Best combination ever. A little bit of salt into the porridge just to get it a little bit roundness. And I boil mine on water um, because that is what I always done. Yeah. Um, I did get a little bit scared here. I've been editing my craft video, which gone so much faster than it usually do. So that was really, really good. However, after uh, you kind of cut it down and speed the clips up, I needed to put in the images and I realized I hadn't taken any photos of the card. And then I realized that the card wasn't where it's supposed to be. I have a little box or basket basket is probably the best word a plastic basket um which i have on my table uh underneath my screen where i put all my finished cards sorry about being a little bit like this uh but i put all my finished cards in that basket and the card that i'm editing wasn't in my basket and i'm like where is it and i looked in all the usual suspect places and i couldn't find it and I was almost starting to panic because I really liked the video and I really don't have the supplies to remake it. However, I did find it finally into, I have another, this Ikea harder plastic baskets where I have all my stamps. I have one where I keep all my recent stamps and I had just taken all the stamps, including the card and put it in there. So behind a couple of those stamp sets, my little, card was so um i set up the camera i uh, plugged out the camera for sunday so i haven't really recorded anything since sunday gosh um but um i plugged it out so i plugged it in now got it all set up and fixed um and then i um I'm going to kind of stage the area for photos. So that is my second thing to do. My third thing to do is to make sure that I got all of the presets because uh, my presets disappeared when I had to change computers. So I have to redo the presets for uh, my cropping. And then I have to do all the usual things I do when I edit my images. But yeah, so um, that is the plan. Um, I'm starting to feel that my energy levels are kind of depleting very fast today so i don't know how much more i can do it's just 10 o'clock it's kind of silly that it's starting to deplete this early but i'm going to get a cup of coffee and then we'll see um at least going to take those photos and edit them then we'll see if i um sit down and do some more knitting i want to get that knitting done also so yeah yeah. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade that simple blended ombre background with some stencil work to get that to pop and to finish it off with a piece of da ba da ba da ba bam. That voiceover took me so much longer than I was expecting it to take. Um, I just didn't get the flow I wanted. Um, I think I said this before, when I do my voiceovers, I try to make them in a one take because of how I sound. 
I, or how I speak, it's hard to cut it down because my words have a, talk pretty fast, so the words have a tendency to go into each other. Um, but it was just very hard to do it. Um, I kind of got lost the groove a couple of times, and I think it's because I am tired and I have the migraine and, and all of those things. So I uh, did finish though. I finished it and it's now exporting. Um, I'm going to take a break before I actually write the blog post and all of those things because I can't sit in front of the computer anymore. So I'm going to put something on to tally and then I'm going to do some knitting and just relax. Um, and we'll see if I can get this done uh, like in the evening. But yeah, today, a little bit too long so far. And it's not even noon, so... Mm. But that's the thing, this is the reason why I'm on sick leave, because I can't handle working more than a couple of minutes, so... Or half an hour maybe, so yeah. Hopefully though, I will get better and feel better soon. I am seeing changes, I'm seeing a slight change in the headache. Um, a little bit less painkillers needed to... Um, kind of pick at it so um, hopefully that will continue on and everything will work out my voice is all gravelly and stuff because it's starting to get tired but yeah I'm gonna go to bed I've had a rotten day today um I went and sat down by the in the sofa and knitted by around 11 um I didn't get a lot of knitting done because it's been been so exhausted and so tired all day um but i watched a couple of movies and then i knitted a little and then christopher got home around five and he made dinner because it just mm. and also i got a package in the mail so i've done something and uh, the little thing that i've done today is actually done knitting markers um i got the missing parts for my knitting markers like hat pins and metal rings that I needed for them so uh, because I was so excited that I got all the pieces that I've been missing I sat down and uh, did a bunch I think I made like 15 10 15 different sets uh, I do need to uh, photograph them and edit those photos and get those photos up on Etsy and all of those things and that can take a couple of days. If I have such a bad day as I had today, uh, I will not be using the computer tomorrow either or I will use it very, very little. Um, it's just, yeah, it's not, not been a good day today. Um, but we... I've been sitting and chatting with Christopher, we've been planning stuff, and... Oh yeah, it's... Health-wise is a bad day, but I'm still trying to push forward, even though I'm not pushing my body. I'm trying to do things that makes me happy, to discuss plans of the future, stuff like that. So, mentally, it hasn't been that such a bad day. Um, it's just the body that didn't want to be with me today sadly but that's that's how it is so yeah that that kind of sucked but yeah that's how it is uh it is uh half past nine so we are heading to bed and i just want to say good night sleep tight don't look bad bugs bite